the Frog Prince summon. However, he doesn't show up on a new game plus. Oh, cool, Luminaire. Yikes, that's pretty, pretty good. <clears throat> As one would expect of Luminaire. I take the hard way around so that I'm not going to use it this time. I want to see what uh, what Kid has and what Lena has now. <clears throat> so red pen. Oh, interesting. Oh, well, it's not the same red pin, I guess. But it's a recycled name from uh, Chrono Trigger. Um, it's a dual tech between Lucka and Frog. This one's uh, a bit different, obviously. And it's similar in that it's a red element. Sort of, <laughs> sort of, sort of attack. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> you know, I think that these bonuses aren't big enough to make that big of a difference, but they are. In totality. You've probably gotten an extra 30 or 40 HP so far, for example, out of the uh, bonuses uh, so far over, this game, over the game. So does your fifth tech, Lena. Maiden Heart. Recharge Elements Power. Oh, wow. So, this allows you to use to... Basically, <clears throat> re-enable all the elements you've used in the battle. That could be useful. Oh, there's like an extra thing down there. Interesting. Potentially, anyway. See what this does to these guys. Oh, a lot of damage. I'm 
<laughs> I thought I was going to kill over. Almost did. <laughs> Luminaire's a bit too powerful. That's it, no more power ups, huh? If there's a thing in the way here. I'm wondering if this is removed later. Or if this is just part of the scene, there's not actually a thing back a door back there that goes anywhere. <clears throat> Could be either. Lava rush again. Using a red element on a red innate. Not very smart. Would have done way more damage to Lena, probably. Okay, <clears throat> so well, let's uh, head over to Marble Lou or Marble, whatever it is, the demi human island. Marble. Yeah, see, all these kind of crazy, there's tons and tons and tons of these. Magnify and diminish. Oh, wow. Oh, that's everybody, isn't it? All foes and allies. Well, I'm going to buy three of each, so. We do find some of these coming up. What the hell is a frog prince trap? That's that's interesting. Oh, that one was one too, Red Wolf. So does that mean you get multiple summon elements then? That is interesting. I'll get the gold for it, so. So every third one is the uh, element tr is the the uh, summon mothership. Ultra Nova Unicorn. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, it's still the same stuff. Oh, that again. All right, let's head back now. I think we've got pretty much what we were looking for. Sword of Dragon Isle. It is naval. Sky Dragon Isle. All right, we can't go. Uh, we can go around, I guess, so. Actually, I want to switch out party members, too, a bit here. Um, we'll leave Kid in so we have a stealer. Well, we could bring in uh, Mel. She also has steel. Well, here's the thing, though. Lena has an awesome level 5 tech that restores your elements to usable state. So, technically, if you run a Mel in place of uh, Kid, we still could steal as much as we wanted to. Nah, let's bring in some other characters entirely to see what the level 5 techs for everybody are. Um... Let's go ahead and bring in Mojo, and uh, I do I do want to have a Steeler still, so we'll do Mojo and Mel. Alright, Mojo. Interesting, he doesn't have his level 5 tech yet. Neither does she. Interesting, interesting. Um, okay. This is only going to show the party, right? Yeah. Well, I need to, we need to go back over here. Let's see, Guile. Wanda swords. Turn magic wand into a sword that stabs. Foe. Into swords that stab. Foe. Well, Wandelwind did, like, crazy damage. Let's move over and Guile. In place of, uh... Place of him. Place of Mojo. We're still gonna keep Melon. for the uh, steel ability. Alright, Guile. <laughs> Your uh, grid is as messed up as ever. Alright, so bottom one, uh, turn black. So these are, the, these are uh, level fives. All the... Uh, I don't know, there's something that are even more than that. 
Okay, I bet it's the same level as the element itself. So in other words, since, since these are probably this is probably level seven, all these uh, are level sevens. I bet yeah. So you have to have a level seven slot to be able to capture the uh, uh, the summon element. But these other ones you could probably use. Holy light would go up to the very top though. Anyway, so level two. Um, She's well level two, it's graviton is level three. Gravity blue. Yeah, that'll work. Um let's see. Put uh left of jolt there. No, we'll put the graviton there. Along with uh Ice Lance. And then on this one, we can put one of these. So there's a question. Who, <clears throat> who can we use these on? Okay, so So yeah, um, one of the bosses uses Iceberg, another one uses Holy Light. Um, Inferno, Volcano, Freefall, right, and um, this is one of those deals where um, I think I mentioned earlier, whenever you trap an element, even if you run, you still get to keep the element that you trapped. Um, so you can uh, farm elements that way, but you need lots of traps to do that, obviously. Um, we'll change out as we go, as we need to. Uh, for now, though, on level this level 5, I'm going to put in a uh, one of the blacks that I have here the black elements. Actually, I think the... Where is the other black attack element? Is it, I guess it's Graviton. That's what I was thinking of. Maybe I won't put that in there. <coughs> well, I won't put a black here then. Um, <coughs> what else can we put on this? I would do some good damage. Um, Ice Lance, Aqua Ball, Magma Burst would do fine, but... Um, I'd rather do Aqua Ball in here, it's plus two. Alright, now she has a whole bunch of stuff. So let's just go ahead and auto -alloc allocate for her. And then we'll just modify where we need to. I'm going to try and make this a little more diverse. So if we have something where we have multiple of the same one on the same level, even multiple of the same ones overall. Like there's another electro bolt. Oh, that's jolt. Never mind. That one's work. That one works. Um, magnify. Two magnify minus ones. Um, photon beam. Should probably do a yellow out here. That's our earthquake trap. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, turn green. Um, yeah, we'll keep low res there. I think that looks fine. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save and uh, take a bit of a break and then I'll we'll come back and uh, continue. Let's make sure it's saved. So do a double save. Alright, we'll be back in a bit. Hi everyone, this is Geo Will from FM Production Squared, and we are back <coughs> to continue our uh, Let's Play walkthrough for Chrono Cross. So earlier this morning, uh, we uh, dealt with Mount Pyre, um, got through it and beat the uh, the uh, Acacia uh, Divas. The, you know, the four Divas of the Dragons, that's what I would say. <laughs> and uh, then we left and uh, went and bought a bunch of stuff for preparation for later. Uh, a lot of trap elements and um, we were thinking about how best to set up our uh, team as well. Um, so we definitely want to have someone that's a thief that can steal. But I didn't want to bring Kid along because we've had Kid in for a while and I want to change things up a bit since we got so many characters to use. Um, try and get everybody in. That and because everybody, most, a lot of people have their fifth level text now. Um, so we can uh, use those and see what they're like. That did some damage. So Wandalim is pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty brutal. Let's see what uh, Wanda Swords is like. Ah, okay. Yep, so pretty pretty powerful ah uh, so maybe I'm beginning to wonder now if the party does actually or does not gain they might gain on the main stars but they may not get the bonuses unless you train with them so I'm wondering, because every time I've brought out a new character after getting uh, a star, they've always gotten bonuses. So I'm wondering if you still need to train all the characters to get the bonuses with them. In which case, we kind of have screwed up a little bit. Not too entirely much, but... Um, uh, Spread out, spread out throughout the entirety of all the uh, characters. There'll be some that don't have all the bonuses. In fact, I think Surge is probably the only one that has all the bonuses. All the bonus, uh, bonus uh, power growth possible, I should say. Seriously, Mel. Jesus. All I'm missing. So I think, um... You probably can get Mel a better weapon. And Guile, too. I think he still has the brass wand. Brass rod, whatever it's called.
Um, let's go find Razzly. I think she has, no, she has a brass rod. So what does he have equipped? No, he does have brass rod too. Who has the iron rod then? Somebody's got it. I'm not sure who. At least I'm pretty sure we made one an iron rod. Maybe we didn't. I was pretty sure that we did. Oh, cool. So we can end up all accessories that way. Does that include off the main party? No, just off the off these guys. Um. Damn, who would have it? So, glove, uh, darts, or whatever. Fishing rod. Rod, uh, dagger, swallow. Um, rod also, but she has the bra a brass rod as well. Um, cooking utensils. <laughs> um, what does Mojo have? Gloves? Yeah, gloves. Neofio, I think, is also gloves. Yeah. Skelly, I think, is gloves. Mel is that boomerang thing. Steeler ring. It's possible that I didn't, um... Oh, there it is. No, it is there. Never mind. I didn't go down on the list far enough. Oh, you can also remove all elements, too, by using triangle here. Something else that I didn't know about. Okay, so it's per character, though. Not for everyone. to make sure I got everything off everybody else. Alright. So we'll get into a few more battles. <coughs> See if we can't. I think we've gotten everybody. I think we've gotten all the power-ups for them now. Now, it's not much per star power star that you get the bonuses, but it adds up over time. You know, if you get <coughs> oh crap, that's been work. I've been working on that one for a couple hours. Ugh. If you um, yeah, you know, if you get like five or ten health per star for fifty something stars, that's you know, <laughs> it's a lot of health, extra health. 